And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, as always, we are going to be going over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours that includes a huge bit of transfer news as a Michael Edwards green light has been given. We'll discuss that a bit later on, but let's start with this. With Arne Slot taking over as Liverpool manager, Ryan Gravenberg has spoken about his fellow Dutchman and how he can benefit his career. Gravenberg arrived at Anfield from Bayern Munich for £38.5 million last summer and played 38 times in his debut season for the Reds. He hasn't quite set the world alight but has shown glimpses of the brilliant talent he possesses. Now with Slot taking charge, the 22-year-old isn't scared of life past Jurgen Klopp. Speaking to Dutch publicist, Gravenberg said he is a coach who likes to play attacking football. That would suit me, you should think. We will see. The Dutch international also admitted that despite his Dutch connections, he has never spoken to Slot, not even during his time as an Ajax player. Gravenberg added that Liverpool is a top club and he hopes to play here for years to come. He will be hoping to be involved with the Netherlands for many years too, but his season around the national team has been less than smooth. Shortly after joining Liverpool, Gravenberg decided to opt out of the Euro Under-21 qualifier in favour of staying on Merseyside to settle in following his deadline day move. In response, he was left out of subsequent squads by senior manager Ronald Koeman and the under-21 coach Michael Reisger. He is now back involved in the Netherlands setup and hopes to go to Euro 2024, saying, I had conversations with Ronald Koeman and I think it's closed. I will no longer play a role, otherwise the national coach will not call me up for this camp, I think. He added, I'm not as tired as I am after a season when you've played everything. I haven't played everything. Can that freshness be an advantage? Well, I'm ready if you ask me. Anyway, first let's me be a part of the final selection. I always had the feeling that they had me in their sights. The national coach also came to Liverpool once. Martin Darun is injured and that is at first a very annoying for him, but it does increase my chances of going to Germany. There is now an extra spot available in the midfield. Should Ga Gravenberg be selected, he will be joining Cody Gakpo and Virgil van Dijk in the Netherlands squad for the group games against Poland, France and and Austria. From one Dutchman to the other, Liverpool captain Virgil van Dijk has revealed he didn't know Arne Slot at all and has spoken about his first conversation with the new manager. With Jurgen Klopp leaving Liverpool after nearly nine years in charge, van Dijk will now work with a new boss for the first time during his career on Merseyside. As captain, he will work closely with the new head coach Slot to help achieve their goals and implement his style on the pitch. Speaking to the De Telegraph, van Dijk revealed he recently had his first talk with Slot, saying... I didn't know Arne Slot at all. That was the first conversation. I didn't have that feeling that this was a farewell conversation and I think he also sees me in Liverpool 2.0. I got the feeling that he is happy that I am still there and will be there for next season so that I can help when necessary. This allows us to achieve success on the field. Van Dijk's comments make clear he is committed to Liverpool next season. However, he explained he hasn't yet begun contract talks with his current deal expiring in 2025. A new contract has not yet been discussed, said Van Dyke. That is not surprising because the club was completely busy with the new trainer, the stuff and everything. Then it doesn't make sense to start working with players. The captain did though answer of course when asked whether he is open to discussions and added, you can always talk and we'll see how that will go. Following the final game of the season, Van Dyke told reporters, including LSC News, at the moment there is nothing for me to say. Nothing has changed and nothing is on the table either. Nothing changes in my situation at all. My future is not important at the moment. The only thing I can say now is if I have a farewell, I don't think I would keep it dry because that was something I was very surprised with Jurgen Klopp. These fans are something else and eventually when they say goodbye to you, then it will be very, very special. So Van Dyke, of course, coming out and speaking about his immediate future and speaking about the new head coach that is set to take over. A lot of the Dutch camp coming out and speaking with regards to the new manager and their new futures and their futures. Sorry. Um, of course, I did speak about the trio that, of course, being uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Mo Salah and Virgil Van Dyke, that they will. Their conversations will be taking place with the three um, ahead of the summer transfer window opening. And there is a feeling that if they do don't agree a deal this summer, then Liverpool will all look to sell this summer too. So uh, yeah, keep an eye on that one. Uh, we've got quite a Dutch theme today, guys, from moving from another Dutch defender 
to another, which also brings us to our huge Liverpool transfer news as a price tag has been slapped on defender Sepp van der Berg following a successful loan stint at Mainz. There's also been reports that two Premier League clubs are now looking to buy the defender. Yes, reports in Germany had suggested that an option to buy worth as little as 5 million euros was present in the season-long deal that took the Dutchman to the Bundesliga. However, LFC News understands those claims are wide of the mark and that the Reds will be able to set their asking price amid strong interest in van der Berg. Brentford and newly promoted Southampton are among the clubs thought to be keen on the signing the 22-year-old. Van der Berg made 33 appearances for Mainz last term, scoring three goals. The former PEC Zwolle centre-back recently opened up on his chances of breaking through at Anfield, insisting he is capable of claiming a place in the squad. He told Football News, I can handle the level at Liverpool, I can compete, but becoming a starter is of course still a difference. Virgil and Canate are not small boys, I know it will be difficult. In that February interview, he also admitted as a lone player you go somewhere to play that's what I'm doing now that's what I'm happy with if I go back to Liverpool they may want me to say if I notice that a lot of playing time is not available then I have to make the choice to leave for me it's really important that I play around the same time Bundesliga commentator Dan O'Hagan told LSE News Vanderberg's development has been enormous these are two seasons now of playing in major European league he's not looked out of place at all as I say this season he really takes strides moving forward into his game Premier League clubs are stated are very much interested in the player and Michael Edwards has slapped a £20 million price tag on his head going into the transfer window and has green lighted a move and can leave if he wants to. However, Arne Slot will likely probably have the final say with regards to that and he'll probably be assessed in pre-season. But there's a very, very good chance, according to our inside Liverpool sources, that he will be moved on in the summer transfer window, but at a good price that, of course, being £20 million, which is good money for him. I've seen a lot of subscribers say that they would like to keep the player for a longer term. So we'll certainly find out over the next uh, couple of weeks on how that one kind of pans out. Uh, but he won't be the only player probably going out of the door earlier on today. I did state that Callagher from David Lynch has confirmed that Callagher did look extremely likely to be leaving Liverpool this summer. So one to watch there as well. And some reason, I just have a real something in me that just thinks that a lot more players and there could be a shock one that could happen in the summer transfer window as well so yeah quite a lot of we've discussed today but the main story of course being with regards to Vanderberg and that a 20 million pound price tag has been slapped on his head Michael Edwards has green lighted and he's allowed to go however Arne Slot will likely have the final say with regards to that there's a good chance that he will leave and Premier League clubs are queuing up Brentford and Southampton already wanting him in the early part of this summer uh, Liverpool fans, do let me know your thoughts on that news with regards to Vanderberg. Let me know your news with regards to Arne Slot in general. Um, and let me know your thoughts on Liverpool in general. Are you missing us? Uh, now it's been over a week since we played our last game. Um, and how many players do you think we should sign in this summer transfer window? As stated, let me know down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.